Hello again, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Joe Handy, the Android Authority App Guy, and we're nearing the end of October. That means it's time to round up the best new Android apps that were released over the last month. As usual, if you want to check out any of these apps for yourself, you can find those links in the video description below. Firefox Aurora is kind of like a developer channel for Firefox. It works just like the Firefox browser does. However, it'll also include all of the features that haven't been released to the stable version yet. It's a good way to try out the more experimental builds of the browser. It works well in terms of performance, but there were some bugs here and there. It's free to download and try out if you're interested. You will almost certainly run into bugs though, but you can report them to Firefox to help the build become even better. Giphy Cam is a GIF camera. It allows you to take a series of photographs or video that are then turned into a GIF. You'll also have tons of extra features to play with, including stickers, special effects, text, and frames. You can tap the record button to do a burst mode GIF, or you can hold the button down to record something a little smoother. It's probably the best GIF camera available in the Google Play Store right now, and it's also completely free. Google released the Chrome Canary app this month. Much like Firefox Aurora, this is a super experimental build of Google Chrome. You'll be able to test out the very latest tweaks and features before even the dev channel version of Google Chrome. It works pretty well and it managed to load every web page that we threw at it. However, we did experience the occasional hang up or freeze. The builds are completely untested, which means that there will definitely be bugs. You'll also get very frequent updates. It's a fun experience if you want to see the latest Google Chrome features. Ivy Bar is a sidebar application that allows you to quickly see your apps. You can have it launch from either the right side or the left side of the screen depending on your preferences and it is customizable to suit your individual tastes. On top of that, the application has an RSS feature that can show you news across the bottom of the screen. The RSS feature could use a little work, but it could be useful for general stuff in its current form. The application itself still needs a bit of work because there are some bugs, but on the plus side, it is free to download if you want to check it out. LinkedIn Learning is an application that tries to educate people. It features many courses on a variety of subjects, including ones for creativity, business, management, and others. You can complete these courses and then put a badge on your profile showing that you've done that little bit of training. You can also download courses for offline use and study if you're going somewhere without an internet connection. It's definitely no Udacity or Udemy, but it could be helpful if you need to brush up on some of the basics. Marsbot is the latest application out of the developers of Foursquare. It's a chatbot that recommends places for you to go. Unlike Google Assistant, which resides in Google Allo for most people, Marsbot resides in a text conversation. That means you can use it with whatever SMS app that you happen to be using at the time. The application itself will keep an eye on your location and recommend the right things to you. It's a fairly big drain on the battery if left up to its own devices, but it does indeed work. It's free to use if you're into this sort of thing. Playboy released an official magazine application. You can purchase and view individual issues of the magazine for a fee. Alternatively, you can subscribe for $17.99 per year and get every single issue. The application itself works pretty well, although it seems to be better suited for tablets than it is for smartphones. The settings menu contains a helpful list of all the controls that you have available, and that does help make it easier to use. It also takes a bit to get used to, and there are some bugs here and there. Sprayscape is an interesting little camera application. The central premise is that you have a blank sphere. You then take pictures of your surroundings and it fits into that little blank sphere. You wash, rinse, and repeat until everything is filled in. There are a number of commands that allow you to fill the sphere as you see fit. Some people love it, others hate it, but it's a ton of fun once you get past all of the bugs. It's completely free to use if you're interested. Surfy Browser is a new web browser with a large focus on security. It does web browsing pretty much like every other web browser and it was able to handle every website that we threw at it. What makes it special is the ability to password lock the browser so that prying eyes can't get in. You can also password lock individual tabs in case you want to return to your browsing session later. It's an unreleased app which means you'll likely encounter some bugs along the way. It's free if you want to give it a shot. Wallpapers by Google is one of a couple of Pixel applications to hit the Google Play Store this week. Unlike the Pixel launcher, this one is available to most devices. This app houses the Google Pixel wallpapers and you'll be able to browse through and select the ones that you want. The application will even set the wallpaper for you. It can also see existing wallpapers on your device in case you need to switch back. It's nothing incredible, but it works well and the wallpapers also look pretty good. And that about does it for this one, folks. If you want to keep watching, we have the best new Android games of the month linked up there on the screen and in the video description below. Don't forget to check out all of these applications if you want to give them a shot and keep it tuned to Android Authority because we are your source for all things Android. Thanks again for watching everybody and have a wonderful day.